Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Sandy Daily. This is a no hate sermon, Standards of the ANM 3. Standards of the ANM 3. We're talking about some sexual standards from just some memes that I've just posted on Facebook. Karate no hates live in the real world. We do have colourful language and a bit of carnal behaviour. Yet we let the law of the land judge us. So we do live by civic society and its requirements on sexual behaviours. In general, the laws in general. Single Kara Noahides may practice safe sex prostitution if it is legal in any country, state or province they reside in. They are generally expected to wash their bodies afterwards to ensure cleanliness, both for males and females. So, we don't obey any washing rules, but it's sort of an expectation because cleanliness, it doesn't really matter if you're Jewish or you're Noahide or Abram Hyde or whatever. A cleanliness pertaining to sexual behavior is an important issue regardless. It's knowledge that humankind also has, so we stay clean. It's important to wash after sexual behaviors to clean your body. It doesn't really matter, it's a, a universal issue. Okay. Engaged or married Kara Noahides have no basis or right to practice fornication or prostitution. Their need to be satisfied sexually has been met, or soon will be if they are engaged. And we consider it cheating. If a male who is married commits sexual behavior outside of his marriage partner, it's considered cheating. And it's adultery if a female commits sexual behavior outside of her marriage partner. A man who commits sexual behavior with an engaged and married woman who is single or married himself is also an adulterer if she's married or engaged. He's an adulterer. If she is single, he is just a cheater. If he's married, he's just a cheater. If he's single himself and she's single, then that's just fornication, which is permitted if it's sexually practiced safely with safe sex. But if he's married, then he's considered a cheater. However, males have a degree of liberty in this issue because they have a degree of liberty in obtaining more than one wife if they choose to, which is in accordance with the scriptures. In the Rainbow Torah, men had more than one wife. Now, if a Karite Noahide father of a single daughter who was of legal age for sexual behavior, as I think... 16 or 18, I'm not sure which it is, 21 in some places or something, is if he's strict, he may refuse her the normally held right of fornication or prostitution if she resides in his house under his authority. It's up to him whether he refuses her or not. She has the legal right in the land of most Western nations anyway to move out of her home if she's of legal age and live under her own authority. In which case she has permission to make her own judgment on this issue and may practice fornication if she chooses, if she's under her own authority and not un in her father's household. But if she resides in her father's household, he may refuse her the right to fornication. He is allowed to preserve his honour and his name and reputation if he chooses. She must comply or leave home. And if she uh, does fornicate, and he's a strict father, he can call her a hussy. So they're just standards of the A&M three. Thank you.